I'm Peter from Speciality Waterproof and Roof. Today we are here on a roof in Zambezi Country Estate in Pretoria and I'm going to be taking you through some of the problem areas we find on flat roofs with bitumen membrane um, systems or torch-on systems more commonly known. As you see here we've got some water bonding and what actually happens here is this water is acting like a magnifying glass for the sun and it's burning the membrane system so water ponding on these roofs is really bad and needs to be sloped properly and to get rid of all of this uh, water you can see there's quite a bit of ponding that happens here as well all the dust that's collecting here as you see here there's a loose seam which will definitely cause water to leak in into the roofing system here and will cause a lot of damage in a later stage if you'll have a look at this side as well, we've got a weep hole here, drainage hole, and then we've got one on this side as well, but there is a lot of water ponding here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to add another weep hole here, and then we're going to do a slope to that side, slope to this side, and then a slope to, to this drainage hole as well, just to make sure we don't have any water ponding here. Because there is a seam running right here and that would be the weakest point of a membrane system. Now if you look at, at these uh, drainage holes, they are 75 millimeter PVC holes and they waterproof quite nicely. But these holes can be a problem due to dust and debris collecting on these roofs and a lot of leaves as well if there's a lot of leaves in, in your vicinity of your roof. Um, this house hasn't got a lot of leaves, but there's another factor we need to take in consideration. If you have a look on this side, um, we've started cleaning all the debris from the bottom of this roof. And there's a lot of bird species, dust, debris that's collecting on these roofs. And uh, this is clogging up the drainage holes. And uh, as you can see, there's no leaves, but there's a lot of dust and debris because there's also a lot of construction going on in this estate. And uh, this needs to be taken care of and the drainage holes need to be big enough to handle all this dust and debris. Another common problem that we see on these flat roofs is the amount of drainage holes that there is. Um, there's always a lack of holes. Um, we can see there's a lot of water ponding here. We've got a drainage hole there. But if you look on this side, there's actually a lot more water ponding by the dust line here. And you can see there's no drainage hole here, which is causing a problem of huge water ponding and bird feces, dust and debris collecting on this part of the roof that we need to get rid of. So we will be adding a weep hole or a drainage hole on this side of the roof to get rid of all of this water ponding here. So if you have a look at this here, the torch has been done correctly. It's running up 100 mils on the vertical wall but the seam has come loose and there's no more adhesion to the substrate so this needs to be retorched and reapplied and bled so that we have good adhesion to the substrate making sure that this is a sealed unit another common mistake that we find on these flat roofs is the maintenance coating called bitumen aluminium this is the silver coating that you can see here now this system has deteriorated, this coating hasn't been maintained and what it's actually causing, if you have a look here this is not dust and debris collecting, this is actually the membrane that was burnt and uh, through water ponding that's been here and like I explained to you a bit earlier the magnifying effect of water lying on a flat surface so as you can see here, this is pretty badly damaged already a lot of the times in South Africa when we get onto roofs we have these little parapet walls so it doesn't matter whether you have a bitumen torch on system or any other waterproofing system make sure that these parapets are waterproofed this is this flat horizontal piece of wall that you would normally find in, on the houses so also make sure that any horizontal surface gets waterproofed and you waterproof it on top and at least a hundred mils going down overlapping to make sure that this system helps protect your house as you can see this system has failed and we've got raw plaster that's getting friable at the top here at the moment thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe please share this video so we can help homeowners and other contractors making sure that 
roofs are kept in, in a very good condition. If you're buying a new house, go on top of the roof, go in inspect. Don't just look at the kitchen or the, the bathrooms and the, and the nice tile work. Get on top of the roof, that's where the money is going to be spent. Make sure it's in good nick, make sure that uh, it's looked after. And if you can't phone us, we'll come and have an inspection for you. Make sure that what you are buying is worth the money and that you're not going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. So our contact details is in this video. Uh, you'll see it now right at the end but please share this video so we can help other people as well we're going to be making more videos so thank you for watching and have a good day